Luke Doran talked to me about not the first penalty, but the second penalty you had to take. That was the crucial score. And it's always difficult when you're taking the second one because yeah. the keeper's maybe thinking, well, he went that way before. What were you thinking? Well, the first one I placed it, but the second one I just thought, just smack it, hope for the best. No chances. And what was your feeling when you saw it hit the net? Just joy. And we thought we could win it at that point. Like We had genuine belief and we went and we won it in the end. Like so. You did. And then what was your feeling at the final whistle when you were the captain and you'd won it? And when you went over and lifted the cup, what were your thoughts? Just amazing. Like What a great achievement for Breda and the, what a team we have here and just full of stars. And You're absolutely right. It's a team full of stars. Yeah. And every day there's people who stand up and even in different parts of the game. Who do you think in particular today? I mentioned Valo Martillo before, for yeah. example. There were lads who stepped up and really performed well today. Who did you think? I thought Mark Guest had a great game. He was catching everything and Tiernan Doherty building the play up and of course Valo played great as well. Jack McConville, he said to me he's watching loads of videos on how to be a full forward, <laughs> making loads of dummy runs, so he played well as well. So Team performance was amazing as well. It was and you needed that in the second half because at half time it didn't look like it was going to happen. Yeah, we had genuine belief at half time that we could do it and we went out there and showed what we were about and we won. And what are you about? What is Breda about? Community. Fight. Never give up. What was it like to have the parental support over there and the noise that they were making? Well, I know my mum, she's a shouter, like, but I could hear them <laughs> all the way. And it's always great to have your own fans there and supporting you all the way. And finally, have your word for your coaches because they've been with you for yeah, a long time. They're amazing. Like every, every Sunday we're at training and they're the best coaches about. And we wouldn't have done it without them. So thank to all the coaches. What are your thoughts finally for the future? You know, because you've won, Breda have won this title two years yeah. in a row. We've seen Carrie Duff get to the All County Senior title. So, you know, that part of the world and County Down is starting to do well. But what can the future be for Breda? What are your ambitions? Just to replicate what Carrie Duff done, and the future's bright for us. Like, we've got lots of stars, as I've said. And once we get up to senior, we'll be challenging for senior championships every year. So. Well, Carrie Duff didn't win it. You're maybe thinking of going a step well, further? Yeah. And, and more, more than carried off. Can I ask you finally, finally, who would you look up to in the game? Who would be the star players that you would look up to and model yourself on and, and at any level in Gaelic football? Well, I like watching our senior breeders and just seeing how good they are like at their age. And To be honest, I kind of focus on my own game, like, but seeing them, how good they are, kind of makes me want to be them.